Is this an awesome metal band? Well, if you want to get technical about it, Suffocation and their 1991 album Effigy of the Forgotten or Effigy. This is the first official album in Suffocation's discography. With Frank Mullen singing, Terrence Hobbs and Doug Sirito both on guitars, Josh Barhom on bass and Mike Smith on drums, this Five-man band ripped into our ears with the sound of brutal death metal that is very technical in all of its grinding glory. So what do I like about this album? Number one, the vocals. Frank Mullen's vocals sound like they grind in his throat as much as the guitars and other instruments around him. It's pretty kick-ass. The guitars, they are like rusty pipes being rubbed together to create a unique sound. They are fast and effective. The drums, they are audible in the whole mix and are as fast as the guitars. Smith has no trouble keeping up. Suffocation are their own thing. This is one of the first, if not the first, brutal technical death metal albums as well as band. To grace our ears, and Effigy of the Forgotten is a testament to their unique craft. The album artwork, <laughs> it looks like it contains an ob obese version of Wally -E, digging through a battleground of other discarded robots. That's awesome. I think this artwork was done by Dan Seagrave, who did Morbid Angels Halters of Madness, which is another great album cover. The production value is crisp, and everything sounds like it was recorded a few years ahead of time. Even if it has a muddy quality, I'd say it still really shines. Now what do I not like about this album? The drums. While they are intense, they sound like amplified pencil smacking on a desk, or the clicking of a pen. It may be a nitpick, but it could really hamper your experience for sure. My favorite songs off of this album are number four, Jesus Wept, number three, League of Inverus City, number two, Seeds of Suffering, and number one, Infecting the Crypts. Overall, I give Suffocation's Effigy of the Forgotten a 4.5 out of 5. Why am I doing this album review today? Well, I was actually supposed to go see them in concert tonight, and uh, I didn't get to. Uh, I It wouldn't work in my schedule, and my ride wasn't going to be able to do it, so I had to cancel. What really bums me about this is that this is Frank's farewell to the band concert. Farewell to his fans, he's not going to be in the band anymore. Oh my god, I'm so depressed about not being able to go to that concert. It really hurt hard. Um, they really did. I wish they played a little bit closer, it might have been more possible, but I can't hold on to the possibility because it's not going to happen. But just keep in mind, Suffocation is an awesome band, and their eight-album legacy will live on. As well as all their other work. Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook and Twitter page in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe.